this is the Waloa Lake Trailhead. We're gonna hike the Eagle Cap Wilderness and more commonly known as just the Waloa Mountains. So a lot of people actually don't just call it by the Eagle Caps, but it's kind of an unknown destination outside of this region in the Pacific Northwest. Looks pretty awesome, but we're gonna give it a shot. Oh, this is really nice already. Huge trees. So we're following West Fork, Woloa Creek now. All the creeks are still running pretty high. But I think we timed it just right because the snow is actually pretty much gone. We're about two or three miles into our hike now and just had our first wildlife sighting. I saw a mink, which is pretty cool because I've only seen maybe like two or three other minks in my life. And the color of this water is just awesome. It's like this turquoise blue. Really, really nice. Are the logs alright in step on? Probably. Man, just awesome. These rivers kind of remind me of like, almost like Glacier National Park in a way, you know? Well, you didn't, you had a bit different experience, I guess. We just climbed up about 2,500 feet and reached our first high alpine lake. This one's called Horseshoe Lake. And wow, what a view! Wow. Yeah. Yeah, instead of that, try and follow a sort of natural landform, like following the course of a river or a mountain range. More for the trip, if that makes sense? Yeah. No, I see what you're saying. Just plan a route around yeah. some spectacular land feature mm. versus just some arbitrary lines, I guess, right? Border yeah, to border. Of, instead of something like, you know, zigzagging across Brazil or across South America, Follow the uh, the Andes or the. A ton of lakes here, there's a lot of water. Pretty much all of it's beautiful.
Now that is a mountain view. Dang. Yeah. It's pretty all right. Okay. So this is an area called Mirror Lake, and there are a shitload of mosquitoes. Sam? Like a metric. Yes, yeah, a, a metric shitload of mosquitoes. So we're going to escape to Glacier, Glacier Lake instead on the other side of that pass up there. And we've been told there's less mosquitoes there. Oh yeah, right at the, yeah, those look like they'll be loose. One off that third big rock. That next one there. That one? Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta know which way it wants to roll. See? No hanging about. How's it feel? It's nice. It's chilly, but it's not cold. <laughs> not too bad, you see? It's chilly. Yeah. It's definitely not cool. There you go. Non existent. Give it a go. Well, here we are, top of Glacier Pass. Wow. We got up to the top of the pass. I'm saying, where's Sam? He already went down. The view must not have been that great. And then I really turned the pass. Yeah, I saw that bit and I was like, hey, the And then I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, he's obviously down here from this vantage point. It's Glacier Lake down there for now. Head down to this lake. Call it a day for day one. Reminds me of the Grove on a bit. That bit behind. Really? Yeah, just a, sort of just like barren, just different from everything else we've seen so far. And it's kind of uh it's kind of like a mix of the Sierras mm. and the sawtooths. Definitely the sawtooths have little islands out there in a lot of the lakes like that, mm. so yeah.
well, it's the time of the night to find a campsite. And got a spot lined up down there. About, I don't know, 40 yards to the right of that mountain goat right there. So I don't have much zoom on my camera here, but you can see that goat there. It's just kicking up a bunch of dirt. It's just digging and digging. Maybe he's going to lay an egg. I don't know. He's going to town though. Cut out what? The net? No, I, I didn't specifically cut it cut it out for weight on this one. I, I yeah. just forgot. Every time I come back from a trip, I just realize, it's like, well, I didn't use this, this, and this. And I remember, it's like, well, let me look back to the last time I used it. I mm -hmm. used that like one time, you know? Mm -hmm. Like the duct tape, you know? I'll still bring it, some of the repair stuff, but like the head net, pretty much never used it. I think I used it like once on the CDT. On the CDT I bring it, but didn't use it really other than like maybe two or three mornings, just for like 10 minutes or. Yeah. Mm, mosquitoes in your face, eh? Mm. Are they? I don't know, are they? <laughs> <laughs> they better not be. <laughs> Doing makes me bleed my own blood. <laughs> Made camp for the night. Got 17 miles on the day. The mosquitoes are still terrible. The Glacier Lake here is just absolutely gorgeous. We're headed up there tomorrow, up to the summit of the Eagle Cap. Good morning. Good content. And then you get bit by mosquitoes. And then I scream in pain as they bite me through my clothes. Whoa, they love to bite me. Well, we're starting the morning off with a big climb, heading up Eagle Cap Peak, which was once thought to be the highest peak in this mountain range until they discovered Sacagawea Peak. Anyhow, it's a big climb for us. We got to work our way up and over this, this bit of a nose here. And then where we're trying to go is that big patch of trees there and we're going to work our way up that and then just follow that ridge line up made it to the base of the boulder field that we're going to climb we're going to just work our way up of course there's an easier ridge line that we could have taken but you know where's the fun in that we're taking the hard way don't blame this on me Making good progress up this ridge. Starting to gain some elevation. This ridge line is just incredible. These jagged rock formations are just so cool. Anyhow, the summit's in sight now.
two of them actually. There's two bighorn sheep crossing right there. Run, Forrest, run! Look at this bagel powered hiker making his way up this steep snowfield. Like some sort of mountain goat. We are now on the final ascent of the Eagle Cap. She found herself a little bit of a game trail. And there she is, the summit. You can only see like 10 decameters away from here with all this haze. It actually is 10 decameters. It's probably about 10. It is. <laughs> it could be nine. Yeah, this is definitely the most enjoyable part of the climb. You know, the part where, you, where you're done. And you've reached the summit. Damn. Woo. 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 All right, this is the summit of Eagle Cap, which is the second highest peak in the Wolloa Mountains, the Eagle Cap Wilderness, and the highest peak is over there, which is Sacagawea Peak. It's about 250 feet higher than we are here. I think we're at 90, 95, 48 or something like that. So not quite 10,000 feet, but still pretty impressive mountain range. Yeah, I definitely end up, I always say I want to spend more time at a lake or something. And then when push comes to shove, I just end up covering a, you know, a bunch of miles. Yeah. Some of your, your wind, took like, you took like 10 days in the wind or something, didn't you? Yeah. And now for the descent down Eagle Cap. And we actually have a trail, which is pretty nice. It doesn't show up on the USGS maps. But lo and behold, we have a trail. This descent's a real knee buster, huh? That's the backside of Sacagawea and the Matterhorn. Douglas Lake looking all Douglas like, you know? Yes, she does. You can really see why they named her Douglas Lake. It makes perfect sense. It does. Is anyone watching this that can't work out why it's called Douglas Lake? I mean, you're just dumb, really. <laughs> I know, once you see it, it's just obvious. It's yeah, like, I mean, what else could you give a name other than Douglas, you know, know. for a lake like that? And now we're descending down to Horton Pass. And there's a trail that follows this valley downhill, but we want to take that pass over there. So what we're going to do is once we get down to somewhere around there, we're just going to work our way across that slope over to the pass off trail.
Yeah, I think I might stop here and just grab a liter of water real quick. I'll do the same. Just chug it. Yeah. trail for Horton Pass and we're gonna take a bit of a shortcut we're gonna cross this creek and then work our way around this hillside over to Fraser Pass and that's gonna save us a bit of elevation gain This vegetation does a great job at hiding the rocks. It's a very ankle twisting mm -hmm. hillside. Whoa. And that's what we've come across so far. Steep, loose, so far doable. Okay, and this is the final push up to Fraser Pass. Of course, it's gonna be super steep right at the end. Well, this is the top of Fraser Pass. It's one of those disappointing passes that doesn't really give you any, any kind of reward for your hard work. These trees up here, really not much of a view. Whoa! <laughs> Slip and fall accident right there. Well, you're getting like that. Something wrong in the title. You have to call Sam Bernstein. Don't know who that is. I didn't figure you would, but I don't know, at least in Michigan, he's all over. Since I was a kid, Sam Bernstein's like the accident lawyer that's all over TV. Whoa, see? That's yeah, another slip and fall. You have to call Sam. That's what their 1-800 um, number is, 1-800-CALL-SAM. Mm. Now they have three generations of Bernstein serving you. Mm. Still, yeah, you want it. Of course I am. Sam Bernstein, pay me. Pay me, Sam. You tune in for guys. Free commercial. You get this on Dixie and Darwin. <laughs> yeah, you don't get Sam Bernstein commercials on any of the other YouTube channels. Mm. We used to prank call them from the pay phones when I was a kid. Oh, that's you just uh, it's gotta be it. Now it feels like the CDT. Yeah. Oh. Long legs, man, they help. Come on. Just barely got this foot wet, but I almost slipped and fell like completely in. Yeah. All right, I'm set out into the hot valley again.
this now is upper Minnum Valley. Absolutely incredible. And that's the one thing I think that stands out so far to me about the eagle caps is just how impressive these valleys are. Uh, this would be like a one of a kind type of thing, I think, in Colorado uh, or just about anywhere else, really. But it's like every valley we've been so far has just been top notch. Just walked up out of Minim Valley and first view of Minim Lake. And this is camp for the night at Minim Lake. Pretty nice spot. Tons of mosquitoes. Great view of the water though. Well, it is now day three and we are heading down Minim Creek and we're gonna meet up with Lostine Creek. This is where it gets Yeah, it looks pretty slippery in the middle. I feel like we've done 3,000 feet of climbing already today. Sort of descent? Yeah, I hate descents at the start of the day. It's a steep uphill to start the day, fine. Doing a descent like this, and I feel worse. Two degrees in the room as well. It's like I'm would rather not. Yeah, look at that color. She's a beaut. Welcome to yeah. the Oregonian Slovenia. You barely even tell how blue it is in the shadows here, but it's quite blue. <laughs> 